Here I am in the east coast of Florida doing some SUP surfing. We have our typical summer conditions. We've got a light onshore breeze and a one foot wind swell. The water is 80 degrees, the air temperature is 80 degrees, and it's quite pleasant. I'm on a 9.6 Jerry Lopez SUP. I've got a uh, custom fin in it that I built that I'm testing out. I, I like it quite a bit. It uh, has a, a narrow base that lets the board pivot pretty good. And it's got a, uh, a wider tip to it that kind of holds in on the inside section and gives you a lot of drive, which I like. This board is a great summertime board. It kind of glides through everything. It helps you through those weak sections. And uh, the rails are really full and forgiving still got enough rocker in it to kind of make these inside sections. It gives you a lot of speed when you need it. Here we go on a lead takeoff. There goes those full rails kind of helping me stay up and wrap around and try to get into that right spot to push through to this inside section. really like that fin. Put a picture up so you can see what I, what I have here. I fell off my board the other day while I was out there and uh, my foot hit something big. There's been tarpon out there in the surf and there's also a few dolphins and that's what I'm hoping it was but uh, definitely jumped back on the board pretty quick after that one. Here we go last little bit out of this wave. <laughs> they get pretty technical on the inside, but it's kind of fun, makes it a challenge. And uh, you can actually get a few turns in. Here's a, a good example of that board just kind of pushing through that mushy section and getting me over to where the wave's peeking up. And here it goes with a good amount of speed to slip through and make that wave. Another late takeoff just kind of pushes right through it. SUP surfing is just it's so much fun when you get these kind of conditions. You just you can start on a wave, you can get way outside and kind of just work your way in. You still get your turns in. You just get that nice feeling of just gliding down the line. I love that. Such a great day. Here we go, trying to tuck in there. I recorded this using a Solo Shot 3 camera, and I really like how it works. It's uh, a little technical to set up and get working correctly. But once you know how to use it, it uh, it's like having someone on the beach record you. And my wife uh, refuses to do that, so I don't, can't say I blame her. So it works out uh, really good for both of us. I get some good footage, and she doesn't have to uh, sit at the beach and record me surfing. Everybody wins. So um, you should check them out, I think. It's, uh, helps when you're trying to you know improve your your surfing or see what you're doing wrong or try to work on different moves it really helps it helps you review yourself Here's my last wave of the day. 
I really love this. Look at this. There's just no wave there. And it shows what this board can push through. Look at this. Just don't give up. And eventually, you find that little peak and ride it all the way into the beach. So it's all about on these small days. It's just making the most you can out of small conditions. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video.